What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope everyone's having a wonderful start to the week. Uh, it's been a while since I've jumped on here to open some stuff up. So, um, actually, found a couple of these online, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of jump in and, and do a, a video. But um, this tin. It actually says it's from 2019 and I don't know if they did an update I think they may have actually done an update to these tins at some point but if it's from 20 if it is indeed from 2019 uh, then it probably would have some pretty decent packs in it but I I really don't know um, I have a feeling it's probably gonna be a reprint in but figured hey check it out the wrapping on it's a little interesting so I'm curious to see what we're actually going to find in here um, but I did kind of play around with the lighting a little bit um, still trying to kind of get that right it's not a very good setup as far as my the room that I have down here it's not um, not a whole lot of room to kind of work with stuff but kind of still playing around with the lighting a little bit trying to see what that's gonna look like but um, color temperatures I don't know. it's kind of a hard thing to get right but um, hopefully it looks okay but I actually did uh, I actually found this when I was out doing some shopping the other day and thought it was kind of cool just missing the common in there but thought that was kind of neat the collector so I'll have that in this, my videos. But that was a cool little little thing uh, when I was out shopping. So, um, so far, I just opened a couple things first. I got this Paldean Fates booster bundle. I actually had gotten it shipped to me, and it looks like somebody sliced it open. So hey, figured why not open that up? It's already kind of jacked up. So Let's see what's in that, and. Also, a couple, a couple things over here on the side here. I'll probably open up a couple more things, and but this will be, we'll save that for the end there, just to see what's in there. So uh, I'm just gonna move that around for the side here for a minute and get into the Paldean Fate. Still trying to complete this ed's probably, probably will never happen, but I uh, still need some cards from here. Still looking for that Pikachu, uh, Charmeleon, um, of course Charizard, Mew, all the, all the good stuff. So. Um, but yeah, open up a couple things, see what we get. Try to add to the collection. So, let's see here. I do like these little booster bundles. This is a great little way to get a bunch of packs. Um, you know, for a decent price. It's it's not no fluff. It's just six packs, little box, and it has a cool little logo. Actually, I noticed it's got a lot of shine to it. it looks different than like the boxes and stuff, but it's a lot of gold. Pretty cool. All right, so we got six here. Just kind of see what we get. I'll shuffle them up a little bit. Some, I don't think they're really seeded much, but I feel like sometimes they kind of put the hits and stuff in the, in the back packs for some reason, but maybe it's just me being weird. I don't know. All right, let's see. Out of here so yeah, the, the lighting seems to be a little bit better I do have lights on both sides now and that hopes hopefully that eliminates a little bit of shadowing I feel like there's some shadow um, when I just had you know said on the one side so um, hope it looks a little bit better it's all an experiment yeah, see, there's, yeah, I still got some shadowing, but I don't know, maybe one day, be professional, who knows, but, you know, Curlia, Cottony, yeah, trash, I'll do the code cards as usual, I don't usually keep them, just certain products I usually keep just for the, uh, the live app, but oh, 
Baroon. The Mankey. Charmeleon. Another hollow. Surprise. Uh, what else is going on? Not a whole lot. I don't know if everybody's kind of looking for, forward to the new set coming out. I think it's uh, what, next month, I want to say. Just crazy how quickly these sets come out. I mean, it's just one after another. No time to recover until the next one's come out. But I guess it keeps things interesting. I don't know. Gardevoir EX, I think I think I have that one. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've looked at my Baldean Fates binder, but um, I think I got this one. Eh, condition, eh. Could be better. But. Eh, nothing else in here. Um, yeah, so, yeah, the next set's coming out in about a month or so. See what that uh, brings us. I know there's some cool cards. I know there's a Blissey or Chansey, kind of a neat AR card that'll be in that set. Saw some pictures from online somewhere, and, uh, yeah, looks pretty neat. So hopefully there'll be some cool, cool art cards that'll be in that set, and hey, Another Charmander. All right, that's not a bad one. I mean, I already, yeah, I already have Charmander, but I'll take it. I wouldn't mind the Charmeleon or the Charizard or whatever, but that is, it's a nice card out of the set. It definitely has some value for sure. I think this is top, probably top 10. Could even be top like seven or eight as well, but nice. Two more packs left in the bundle. I mean, the booster bundles, it just, I don't know, they seem to be hit or miss. Sometimes you could get a whole bunch of hits, or you could basically get nothing. Um, I don't know what the seeding is like on those, but um, I think the shiny stuff, I mean, geez, there's the third shiny. I think, already, I think I have that one as well, but I mean, three shinies out of six packs, I mean, that's not bad not a bad ratio but I think that's kind of the the typical is um, one shiny for every two packs basically so it's holding up I would like to see a Charizard though might be in, it's hard to tell. I always get fooled by the hollows. Nope, no shiny, nothing. No, got a Clive full art. Not, not the greatest value wise, but eh, it's okay. But hey, I mean, four hits, that's not a bad bundle. I don't know if we get quick got our value back, but Charmander, I think that's pretty sure it's up there. Price guide on TCG player. So top ten. So of course Charizard is number one. Got the Mew, Gardevoir EX, which not the shiny, but the special in the illustration rare. It's about fifty bucks. Pikachu is number four, 43 bucks. The Iono is 40 bucks. Yeah, the Charmander is coming in at $23 raw. Charmeleon is right behind it at 22. So, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
uh, top six is the Charmander. So basically right there, you almost have your full value back out of that one card. So hey, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, Charmander, Pidgey, Penny kind of rounds out the top 10. So yeah, not bad. Not a bad start. Um, a lot of bulk though. It's always fun to have this big pile of bulk to go through. Just basically pull out the reverse rares and add those as I need to to the binder and the hollows. I mean, those are basically bulk now as you get one in every every pack guaranteed. So, I mean, they're still cool, but you know, just the values are just not like, yeah, I mean, even older hollows aren't that crazy, but still had a little bit more value than these modern hollow foils. Uh, so let's see. Also got this guy here. So just a annihilate box, but it's kind of jacked up. So I busted up. No sense in really keeping this thing all together. So open that up, see what we get. I think there's simple day evolved. Nothing, nothing super, super crazy, but there's a few cool, cool packs in there. So we'll just move these out of the way. Yeah, but these collection boxes, I mean, they're just a little bit more, take a little more space. I mean, there's only four packs in here and you can see the box is just so much bigger um, than just like the booster bundle. They're just so much more compact. I like, I, mean, I like that square, the smaller style better than the, the bigger, newer booster bundles. I don't know why they changed it, but I did like the, the look of the older ones. So whatever, but see what we got in here. I know there's some promo cards I didn't get yet uh, out of these guys. So, um, take these out and add these to the binder. Well, is that a promo? Yeah, that's a promo. Just the one EX promo. The other ones are just kind of a different hollow foil pattern. So, let's see. Let's see, there's Lost Origin in here. Yeah, so you got so Paldea, Paldea Evolved, two packs that I'm still building that binder. You got Scarlet and Violet, base, and then Lost Origin. It'd be cool to get a, um, a Giratina. Oh, I'll take it. So these guys, they have the different little, well, of course they're hollow foil and don't, they don't come in hollow foil. So having that kind of Cosmo hollow, it's kind of cool to have. So just a little bit of a variation. And then, then this is the actual promo, Annihilate. Start out with Scarlet and Violet. Um, so I don't even know what the most expensive card is. This is this the Miriam. I don't even know anymore. Can't keep up with the uh, the way that the prices are changing. They change every day. The values. But I believe the Miriam is still the top card, which isn't even all that expensive. But you know, it'd be cool to see. At the beach. I'd like to be at the beach. Oh. A tarantula illustration rare it's pretty cool i don't think i have that one got the scyther at the top i do like scyther man look at those print lines in that that is ridiculous i mean it's like up here across it's just there's a little spot here yeah i mean these this texture is just so easy to mess up but nah, 
It's cool. I'll take it. And code card. So lost origin. Let's see what's in this. Come on, Giratina. Let's go. Four. Team Pokemon, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? It's just a beautiful Monday. Opening some cards. Chilling. You know, you know the drill. Uh, I feel like I see something, but I always get... I don't know. Nah, I don't think they're... For some reason, I just... I don't know. I get... <laughs> There's a hollow, but nothing... Nothing crazy. Gudra. Shared to discords. I don't... I'm not sure what, what you mean by that. Card party? I don't know. I I would like to. Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be awesome to go. Uh, just have to figure out if it's doable this year. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm, you know, this is... All this stuff is just... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've been kind of doing the the, the videos, uh, you know, without any kind of uh, interaction really, but um, it's still still a little awkward with this live stuff. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's just uh, card party. Yeah, I, I, it'd be awesome to go. I mean, it'd be awesome to meet everybody. Um, but yeah, it's it's something that I'm thinking about. I just gotta see if I can work it out. But we'll see. You never know. Things could uh, could work out and and be able to go but we'll see are you going yeah it's uh oh that's awesome yeah that would definitely i mean it's you know <laughs> it'll be hot it'll be uh but it'll be cool i mean it is cool that it's down near like Disney and stuff, which uh, we do like to go to Disney. But um, yeah, I don't know it, if it's in if it's in the cards. We'll see. Uh, I, it would definitely be cool to meet a lot of the the community that I've been watching and just kind of watching as a viewer for a long time. Um, you know, that'd, that'd be awesome. But who knows if it's not this year? I'm sure there'll be another year. And um, you know, there's they're always next year, I'm sure. So I don't I don't see that ever change. I don't see it change anytime soon. Uh, I mean, the success of the first one. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, the success of the first one, um, you know, it kind of rolled right into the second and the third, I'm sure, and on and on and on and on. So um, I check the card party website. Um, like with the schedule or I have I have looked at the site I just have I'm sure the, the prices probably just keep the cost could probably keep going up for the tickets I kind of been um, procrastinating on that but it's like I think it, they just keep going up and up uh, because you know as the closer you get to it the more expensive it'll get so which makes sense but um, so card party 2 um, do they do they show the creators? Yeah, I know that the, all the creators weren't quite on there yet. Um, oh, okay. So, all right, they got some feature creators now. Sweet. Yeah, I don't think that was up there. I haven't checked it in a little bit. Um, so, yep, of course. Rev, Vault, Danny. <laughs> Uh, oh, Bud's going to be there. Nice. That's awesome that he's a feature creator. Oh, Pokeballer Mike. Oh, man. Dizzy. Uh, or Diz, not Dizzy. Diz. See, I'm trying to look see the, the, new, uh, the new creators from last year. Definitely. Definitely some Rock Sandy. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, those, those are my, definitely my go-tos um, for sure. I mean... I, I, it's hard to watch everybody, but um, it's awesome. Yeah, it looks like a good lineup. 
I mean, some of them I haven't actually watched before, like Chaotic Meatball. I I don't know who that is. I'm I'm sure they're great. Um, Axie, I think Axie is. Isn't that Rev's editor? I'm pretty sure. And I th I'm sure he edits others, other um, others uh, videos as well. But that's cool. Orlando's and then Orlando's definitely um, it's, it's closer to me so uh, you know as far as flight time goes and everything I mean it would definitely be a lot easier to get there than it would be to you know California that's one of the big things was in California it's like you know, I don't really want to travel all the way to California but um, I am on the, on the east coast I'm pretty much the furthest east that you can get and uh, so it'll all be the same time zone all that kind of stuff so yeah, it's awesome. No, that's. I hope you, hope you have a great time. I mean, I would definitely love to go. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, where was I? Let's clean up some bulk here. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you saw. So I, I at the beginning, I I have these Flareon tins I picked up from Amazon. And this is an older tin. I mean, it's, it says it's from 2019. And I kind of was curious. I was like, I'll take a shot and, you know, check it out. See if there's any. I, I, I have a feeling it's a reprint tin. Um, and, you know, because you know, if it was the older tins, I have a feeling it would be a lot more expensive. I think these were like 25 bucks. I There's no way it's the original tins. But I was like, yeah, I'll take a shot. See what happens. And. Yeah, I'm sure it'll just be like an updated reprint, but you know, whatever. Um, so I was gonna open that up, but I was looking to the side of me, and um, actually have some more, a few more packs of Obsidian Flames I wanted to open up too, just because I'm still trying to complete that set as well. So I figured before I do that, I was gonna um, just open up a couple blisters just to kind of see. Oh, I'm missing an artwork. Oh well. Actually, I think there's two more artworks. Um, so yeah, that so that annihilate box wasn't that great. It's the only pool really was that the tarantula. So, a little rough. Um, yeah. So just cracking these. I do like these sleeve blisters. I feel like they're kind of a a nice hold, and you know they're flat. I mean they don't take a whole lot of room. You can get a bunch of those kind of. You want to keep them sealed for you know when they get a little bit older i feel like that's kind of a, a decent um way to collect some stuff it's just like they're so flat you just throw them into a big box and they don't really take up a whole lot of room versus like collection boxes they just take up so much dang room there's so much plastic that <laughs> you just run out of room so quickly um yeah And Palafin, of course, hollow. But yeah, I'm just I gotta looking at the, the video. I, did you did you go to um the first card party, first edition? Were you there? Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Definitely is all about helping each other out in the community, you know, just kind of getting things out there as you're trying to, you know, just build a community up. I mean, I'm just kind of doing this because I like to open up cards <laughs> and, um, you know, hey, who knows where it goes, but, you know, I've been kind of doing some things over the years, just really... Um, collecting, you know, starting binders, doing binders. I mean, I'm a, I'm a collector at heart. So, you know, I do like to keep things sealed, but I do like to also, I like to chase. So, um, you know, I think that's kind of what a lot of us are about. Some people are in, into it more for the money side, which there's nothing wrong with things holding value and, and keeping value. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be all about just 
value and money and all that kind of stuff. Like, like Danny says, I mean, he, he hates money, you know? So, and it's like, it's, it's too bad when it's all about, people are just about the money, but no, I, I do appreciate that. And I, I really do. Um, it's all good. It's all good either way. I mean, Hey, look, whoever, whoever we got, it, it doesn't matter. Like it's, you know, there's no minimum. There's no maximum. I, I appreciate everybody that stops by and checks things out and Hey, just want to have a good time. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Showing the people a hobby. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, uh, it can be very cool. I mean, the, all the products, I mean, when these products come out, you know, like, you know, we got the next set, the twilight masquerade or whatever. I mean, that's new, but at some point it's going to be an older set that's out of print. That's, you know, no longer around. And, um, it'd be kind of cool to kind of go back in time. And that's why I keep things sealed. It's like, well, you know, I open some stuff up, but we keep stuff, stuff sealed as well. So that way, you know, down the road, years from now, you can open up some older stuff like like this tin. It's this is from 2019, supposedly. I mean, Jesus, five years old now. So you just never know what you're going to see, you know, years down the road or what you're going to miss. I mean, like like a team up. I really wish I had grabbed more of that. Of course, everybody does. But I wish I had more of that to open up to share with people because I don't really care about the value. I just want to see what cards we can get out of it. So, you know, it is what it is. So, hey, all right, well, let's open this tin up. I just want to kind of see what's in here, and uh, well, hopefully, it's not resealed. I mean, it's the the wrapping seems a little loose, but I think it's okay. I don't know. Sometimes the wrapping gets a little funny, but I think it's all right. Um, what did I do with my knife? Hold on, gotta find my knife. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Smash the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff. All the buttons, like Vault says. Hit all the buttons. Do all the things. I always like that saying. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so, yeah, I mean, this is a cool tin. Uh, this is the, So I got the Flareon tin. That was the one that was kind of on sale. It was saying it was, saying it was all normally 30 bucks, so... Um, this one was like 25 bucks. I was like, yeah, we'll take a shot, see what happens. But I'm not sure about this sticker. I'm not sure what, if this is from like just somebody's stock. I mean, they just put the barcode. I mean, they're covering, they're covering up the barcode that was on here. So I don't know if that's just to really keep track of somebody in somebody's system or what. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, 2019, one of three full cards and four packs. So again, expecting a reprint, but um, who knows? See. All right, try not, whoa, try not to spoil the surprise here. Yeah, yeah, that black, the black top. I think that that's gonna be uh, a reprint. But I'm gonna. It's a pretty nice promo, though. Yeah, 2019. So that would have been Sun and Moon era still, so. All right, so yeah, this, well, yeah. Yep, it's a reprint. Unfortunately, but it's the older packs. I mean, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness, Rebel Clash, you know, not the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Styles, honestly, if it was me, that would probably be the one with the alternate arts with the Tyranitar and such. Uh, Vivid Voltage probably be there. And then between these two, I mean, I'd probably rather get the Charizard, so we'll just run with it this way. So, got the Rebel Clash. We'll start out with this from 2020. What's up, Pushy? How you doing? Welcome in. Just opening up this uh, this Flareon tin. I had a feeling it was going to be reprint tin, and it sure is. I was thinking it would be possibly an older tin, but this is definitely showing that it's a reprint. So, eh. Shoot, shot, shot, shoot our shot. Figured we'd check it out, see what happened. And, uh, yeah. End up being the reprint. So, all good. Hope everybody's doing all right, doing, having a great day, having a good week, all that stuff. So, but 
yeah, just checking out this tin, seeing what we get here. I, you know, nothing crazy probably, but you never know. I don't even know honestly what's in Rebel Clash that you're you're chasing. I mean, geez, I gotta do my research probably a little bit better, but I know the Darkness of Blaze best card is gonna be that Charizard D Max. Um, so, and I think I I pulled that out of one of the first packs that I had opened from Darkness of Blaze. So, Turbo. Yeah, Darkness of Blaze. I don't even remember the last time I opened Darkness of Blaze up. It's probably been two plus years. And there's really no sense, at least right now, to open that up it, until it's a little bit older. But yeah, two non hollows so far. A bit of a voltage. Looking for that chunk of chew. Doing wonderful. Enjoying a wonderful Monday, enjoying the nice weather, all that good stuff. Whismer. The yellow borders, it's, uh, I don't see that a whole lot anymore these days. Going to the silver and the gray. And battle style. 2021. I mean, everything, all the packs of 2020 and 2021. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're definitely getting definitely older. So, I don't think anybody would be reselling these. I doubt it. The glue looked a little funny, but I don't know. It's interesting. There's not, well, it's, it should be a hit in here. I don't know if it's going to be a hollow, but. Hollows were hits. They used to be hits. Heat lore. Uh, that's probably just going to be a hollow. This is definitely a rough era. It's cool. Okay. Definitely a rough era. Um, with the hits. I mean, there's no... No trainer gallery. Those kind of things. I mean, the earlier sets of Sword and Shield are just pretty rough. But um, got the Urshifu. I don't know if I have that card or not, but it's just funny. I mean, you got these these V's and V Maxes, all that kind of stuff. You'd think they would have some have some value, but they really just uh, <laughs> for some one, whatever reason they just don't seem to a lot of have a whole lot of value to them. Um, promo is probably the coolest card out of all that. So yeah, unfortunately, reprint tin, nothing super crazy. And I honestly, I don't even know if I'd opened that up and seen team up and stuff like that. I don't even know if I probably would have opened them. I, I guess I would. Yeah, why not, right? You already opened the tin. You might as well open all the uh, the packs inside. But if it was a team up pack, I'd be like, oh man, I don't know if I want to open this. But I'm sure we would have. Um. Got some 151 booster bundles. Should we open up one of those? I was gonna kind of end it there, but a few more people jumped in. I mean, I could open up something else. Just for just for some entertainment. Um, it'd be hilarious to pull the Charizard again. I. Uh, I pulled one, but hey, I'd be okay with two. <laughs> this one's kind of beat up. So we'll open that up. I'll just kind of, you know, see what else we got. Still, still trying to finish out the binder. I know that um, there's a few things I still miss. I need the Blastoise, Venusaur, stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be upset with another Charizard. These are, I think they're, they may have reprinted these booster bundles because I actually have been seeing these a decent amount out and about. Um, 
they were on Best Buy. They keep they keep uh, popping up on the Best Buy site. So I think these will probably be their bread and butter instead of ETBs going forward. I mean, it's like why not? Why not print these, right? Because it's a piece of basically a piece of cardboard and six packs. So it's like they're already printing packs. These are small enough where it's like might as well print those. So the Reggie himself, what's up? How you doing? Just, uh, just kind of chilling. I'm just kind of hanging out, opening some stuff up, completing binders, all that fun stuff, and just kind of relaxing, hanging out. So, again, hope everyone's having a great day, a great week. Uh, hopefully, nothing too crazy going on. Just, you know. Join life. Squirtle. You know, I was just saying this the other day. The Scyther, it's like, there hasn't been a Scyther like AR or SAR or whatever. Man, I just, I'm not sure why that is the case. Because I feel like Scyther is like a cool, popular Pokemon. Like, there's Scizor. Why not Scyther, right? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, good pulls. Uh, we had some. Open up some Paldean Fates earlier and uh, pulled another Charmander. It's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. The Cleavor, right? Uh, I know that I'm still looking for the Charmeleon, but I was like, yeah, take the Charmander. Another Charmander. I think it's a top. What did I say it was? <laughs> top six card. So. But yeah, I, I just, especially in 151, I was just surprised that, you know, there was no SAR or, you know, even like a full art of Scyther. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I just feel like uh, he's kind of getting tossed to the side a little bit. But maybe it's just because he's my favorite. I don't know. Mr. Mime. Got mimed. Got mimed. Yeah, Charmander. Yeah, Charmander's. 23 bucks market price or uh, average market market value whatever you want to call it right now so yeah basically paid for that booster bundle I'll take it Snorlax Haunter Jolteon I like those hollows but Come on, give me something else. Team Pokemon, thanks so much. I like I seriously, I really appreciate that. I I can't do it without everybody and I, I really appreciate that, seriously. It's, it's awesome. Uh, might be something in here, I don't know. I I always get fooled by the hollows, so don't mind me if it's nothing, but um, I feel like DK. He always does that. He's like, oh, I see. There's something. There's something. And then it's, oh, but like he's, he's talking about like this lighting. I don't know what it is, but my light, since my lights are like right, basically like right here, they're so close that I think they just like reflect everything. So. Charmander ETV promos were $10. The, um, the, which one? The, um, Obsidian Flames ETV? Now is that the the Pokemon Center version or is that the uh, just a standard ETB version? <laughs> really? That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I know that the the ETB was out of stock on the Pokemon Center for a long time, but they, I'm sure they've restocked it by now. Um, oh. 
because I know that that was one of those things where people were like, oh, I should have grabbed some of those before they went in stock. And of course they came back in stock because why wouldn't they? But I don't know if they are still at this. Uh, oh, wow, it is. Yeah, so the uh, the Pokemon Center, Obsidian Flint, you know, and that's one of those things too where, you know, if you're going to grab something to keep sealed, grab some Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes because you'd never know. I mean, the set, like 151, I was never never able to grab one of those, but I, so I had to kind of go on eBay and grab one. I mean, I'm not going to buy a whole case of them at those prices, but I grabbed one just to keep sealed. I mean, I'm not going to open it. Um, I'll open up regular ETBs, but I'm not going to open up the Pokemon Center because those are a, such a limited print that you just never know when they're going to stop. Like the Crown Zenith, I did grab, I think, a couple cases of the Crown Zenith ETB or a Zenith, whatever. And I mean, I'm not going to open those up either. So just to kind of hang on to and keep sealed. So it's like, if you're going to grab them, grab those. Oh, got something. That looks gold. What's gold? I don't even know what... <laughs> it's been so long since I've looked at the, the cards. I can't remember what's uh, a gold card. Gold Mew? Oh, yeah, you're right. No, Switch. <laughs> Fooled you. That's right, there, there are a few gold cards course it's not i would have taken the gold mew over this but yeah i guess it is what it is right boy yeah these these booster bundles i tell you I, i've had better luck well i had some pretty crazy luck <laughs> yeah yeah it switched up on me too i couldn't even remember i didn't know what it was anyway but um yeah i've had some really good luck with the zapdos box the collection boxes with 151 but the ETBs, I mean, they haven't been all that crazy. I haven't really opened up a ton of 151, but what I have opened up, I feel like the booster bundles, yeah, they're, you get a lot of packs for, I guess, the cheapest price, but I don't know, like they just, the hit rates aren't all that great. That Pal Day and Faith booster bundle was, was fire, but you're not really? I mean, I, I guess I like it for the nostalgia. Um, honestly, the Charizard is not, the artwork, it's it's such a far away artwork that it's like you can't really see Charizard. So I'm not, yeah, that card, even though it's the most valuable, it's like, I'm not sure why, I, mean, I guess because it's Charizard, but I feel like the Alakazam is probably, should like be at the top. Um, I mean, that card is amazing. The Blastoise, I think is amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna, probably going to have some value um in the future but right now it's you know it's just a nostalgia kick but i think i think over time once it goes out of print it'll people will come back to it kind of like evolutions um you know people kind of were like oh it's it's re it's overprinted stuff like that but um it's a nostalgia kick now and you can get it it's a lot cheaper than base set so yeah, the Venusaur, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, all the big three, those artworks are pretty cool, but yeah, I definitely would say that the Venusaur line and the, and the Squirtle line is better than the Charizard line, I mean, that's in, in my opinion, so, <laughs> yeah, that was a rough bundle, okay, well, yeah, so we got the Switch, that's, uh, Switch is basically our hit, so not, not that great, I think it's only a few bucks. But hey, again, it's all about that chase, right? It's not always about the value. So, um, let's see. Uh, well, it's kind of again. I, <laughs> I kind of uh, was gonna, you know, end it. But I mean, hey, look, if people are jumping on. I. What else you guys want to see? I mean, I got. Um, let's see what I got next to me. I got. Uh, got some Lost Origin sleeves. Um. I got a Crown Zenith. I got one of those Crown Zenith. Um, hold on. The, the more Pico. Uh, what is it? Premium Treasures collection thing. Jeez, I need to clean up a little bit too. But I got one of these with the play mat. It's got the pin and stuff. Could open one of those. 
I'm still still chasing stuff in the Crown Zena set. Uh, could do that. Uh, I got some of the. What do I got? Um, I got the more Pico or not more Pico. Jeez, I can't. I can't talk. The Mimikyu. I got one of these guys when they were twelve bucks at Walmart. I, I think I still have a few of these, but uh, I got the Evolving Skies in there. I uh, got a Brilliant Stars ETB. I got a few things next to me that have kind of been sitting here staring at me. Um, should we do some Crown Zenith? Can't go wrong with that, right? Let me just clean up a little bit, though. I got a... Um, Got a lot of trash. Well, not like Ryan, where it's he just kind of throws it all behind him. I, I kind of throw it next to me, and I got to move it out of the way, so. Oh, shoot. You know what? My phone's about to die. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to grab my cord, my power cord. I should probably do that first. All right, sorry about that. I couldn't find my cord and then um, trying to plug it in and I couldn't find an open USB port, so apologies. Professional streamer here. All right, so where was I? I was trying to get some stuff out of the way. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, we'll just do one more thing here. I'm just gonna do... Um, We'll just do um, some crown zenith real quick and then we'll be we'll just go ahead and end it on that so i'm just going to go ahead and open up the the box on over here Play mat.
Got our more Pico Jumbo card. Got our pin. So this one actually comes with the pin, the Premium Treasures Collection. Comes with the little pin. And then, of course, the, the promo cards. The, uh, that form the, basically form the big Jumbo card. I'm sure everybody's seen that before. The stream. Got a few cool things. Nice cards added to the binder, but can't win them all. So, well, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. If you hit that su the subscribe button, the like button, all the, all the buttons. And hope you have a great day. See ya.